What's up you guys, Jay here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can find the right Instagram influencers to blow up your sales and brand with influencer marketing in 2020. So why you want to watch this until the end is because you'll understand the secret to Instagram influencing and how it truly works. You're also going to understand how some businesses and pages are generating six to seven figures with Instagram influencing and shout outs. You're also going to get some awesome ideas on how you can monetize your business, your content or your page using Instagram influencers. So for those of you that are new to Instagram influencing or have never heard of the term, Influencer marketing basically includes finding people with big and loyal following basis to shout out our page or product to get more engagement or sales. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to find the best Instagram influencer pages with the best engagement at the best and lowest prices. I'm also going to show you a strategy where you can find influencers that will allow you to pay them only after you make sales, which is actually incredible. So for those of you that are perhaps on a shoestring budget or don't have much to invest, this is perfect for you because you will be allowed to pay the page only after you've made sales with them. So Instagram influencing as we sit right now is big. It's huge. There are billions of people on Instagram and there are many ways to get it right. But there are also many ways to get it wrong. So I'm going to show you how to avoid that just in a bit. So I'm also going to give you insights on how I buy the best Instagram influencers and how to get the best return on investments. I'm also going to show you a bunch of free tools and more details on how to get good returns and master Instagram influencing. But first, the big mistake that a lot of people go and do is they will go to a page on Instagram and they will try to promote their product or service or whatever it is on the pages with the most followers. This is bad, it's wrong, and that's the reason they are failing. You don't want to base your choice on the amount of followers, but rather the amount of engagement that that page is getting. So a good example is let's say a page has 10,000 followers, the engagement is very good, they've got loyal engaging audience, you can get a lot more sales and a lot more return on investment than a page with 1 million followers with little engagement and not as much loyalty. So I'm going to hop over to Instagram. But one thing you also want to make sure is that whatever product you're promoting or whatever page you're promoting, you want to choose the right niche. Because what a lot of people do is, and it's a big mistake and a reason why a lot of people don't get the results that they want to with Instagram influencer marketing, is they just promote their products on pages, generic pages that isn't really targeting any specific niche. So the best way to go about this, you obviously want to choose your product in the specific niche, whether it's fitness, accounting, finance, you want to then go over to Instagram pages related to that niche. So obviously fitness, whether it's bulking pages, whether it's accounting, finance, entrepreneurship pages, and you want to promote the product to its relative niche. So a quick strategy that I want to show you guys that you can use to find um, good influencers and highly engaging pages on Instagram in a specific niche is with hashtags. So let's say we've got an accounting product that we are an affiliate for. We can come over to the search bar and we can just put in accounting, the hashtag accounting uh, hashtag in the search bar. We can click on it and view pages obviously related to the accounting niche. So what I like to do is you can open up some of these posts. Let's open up this one. We can open up their page. We can open up this one over here with 10.8K likes. We can click on their page. Uh, and you can see right here, here's two good examples. Okay, this is more of a smaller page. This is actually a very good example over here. This page with 134K followers, you can see they're getting 3,000 likes, 6,000, 14K likes, 15K likes, 6K, 6K, 9K. So the engagement is actually very good. I like to choose anything over 15% engagement, meaning if they've got 100,000 followers and they're getting between 10,000 likes plus very good engagement on that page. So this is a page you can consider for Instagram influencing. But this is just one of few ways that we can do this. This is probably the most basic way. Firstly, I'm going to show you a tool, one of my favorite tools, then I'm going to go into my best tool. So firstly, I want to take you over to influencercart.com, which is an online marketplace where you can buy and sell Instagram shoutouts. But the trick is you don't actually buy off this platform itself. You'll see right here when you click on the browse influencer page, there's a ton of different pages in various different niches, such as human memes, fashion and style, luxury motivation. Let's take the accounting niche again. We obviously going to do um, 
business and marketing related to accounting. I'm going to apply the filter and you can see a couple of pages related to business and marketing. So you can see right here, one good one is perhaps let's try mental aspect. I'm going to open up them in a new page. But what you're going to do is you're going to copy the username. You're never going to buy off this page itself. You're going to come back to Instagram, paste this so we can go and analyze the engagement rates. So you can see right now they've got 496,000 followers. If we have a look at their posts, 10K likes, 7K likes, 7K likes, 8K likes, 10K likes. It's not bad. I've seen better, but this is one that we can consider. And why something like this is way more higher converting? Because obviously, first of all, the niche is related. These people are interested in finance and accounting kind of products. It's an audience that is interested. It's not some generic audience like those big meme pages with millions of followers that don't actually end up getting sales. So it's more specific. When it comes to marketing, you want to be as specific as possible. So this is accounting at an entrepreneurship page, which makes sense. And secondly, the engagement is okay. I'd say it's above average or above par, but it's not one of those pages that get hardly any engagement or fake followers where you don't actually end up getting any views or clicks on your link at all. So it's a good consideration, but I'm going to show you a much better tool to even go more specific than this. So the next tool that I want to show you guys is called influencer list dot today, which is basically a database that lists the best influencers for Instagram, YouTube, and various different platforms. So you can see, I can scroll down. There's a whole database of Instagram influencers, thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So what you can do is you obviously want to filter by, um, I see they've also got YouTube. You can see they've got YouTube influencers. Well, we are just going to filter by, we can add the filter of only Instagram in this case. And you can also see right here, they've got various different niches such as fitness, fashion, lifestyle, and travel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up in the larger version, like full view in a grid view. And you can see all the niches, the gender, the engagement percentage, the average amount of likes per post. This is the average total of comments. Uh, I just want to make sure you yeah, the likes. This is the total amount of views, the average amount of views for those that post videos. But the most important thing that you need to pay attention to is the engagement. So obviously, uh, let me just filter again by Instagram. The filter went away. You want to choose anything. I like to choose anything that's above usually 10% above 20% is ideal. So I mean, you can scroll down and have a look. So this page over here is 11%. This is an influencer in the United States. So we can open his page up in a new tab to have a look at what he's about. So you can see he looks like he's about different quotes, different, more like the success kind of story kind of pages. And his engagement's pretty good. 11.2 million followers, 6 million likes, 3 million likes, 2 million likes, 6.3 million likes. He's got a very good engagement. And this is the kind of page you can use for Instagram influencing. But this guy's also probably going to be pretty expensive. You can see he's a blue checked account with 11.2 million followers. So you can come back here and have a look for the smaller pages. So if I scroll down, let's have a look. I'm just going to keep going. Here's a 10.9% engagement page. I'm just going to open them up in a new tab. If I scroll down some more, here's a 15% engagement, which is very good. Here's another one at a 20% engagement page. I'm going to open them up. 20.6% engagement page. I'm going to open them up in a new tab. And let's just look for some more. Here's a page with 24.3%. So that should be enough. Okay, the one page was deleted, I see. So I mean, here's a page, this was one of the beauty pages. So what you can do is you can go find beauty products to perhaps drop ship or whatever products you have. If it's related to the beauty niche, this is a perfect page to use. You can see 2.5 million followers, but she's getting a million views a million, four, half a million likes, nearly a million views there, half a million views. The engagement is very good. In fact, it's more than 40%, which is incredible. Same with this person over here. This looks like it's also a bit of fashion. Fashion, I would say, with some merch, 2.3 million followers. Engagement is incredible. This page was deleted. This person, Garrett Watts, 2.1 million, looks like a lifestyle page. Engagement is fantastic. So, I mean, these are all good examples, but also going to be very expensive because they've got a lot of followers. So I'm just going to keep browsing for some more smaller pages. So here's a good one here, an influence in the UK with 24,000 followers, 26% engagement, which is very good. 
So you can see this lady is Charles's life. So this is perhaps a lifestyle page, which is more of a generic audience, but you can see the engagement is fantastic. 24K followers, 5K likes, 6K likes, 8K likes, 6K likes. Very, very good engagement. So this is a good page to promote fashion products in that specific niche. And remember why I also like these kind of smaller pages is because I would rather take $200 and do six to seven separate shout outs on these smaller pages with very good engagement, then pay for one shout out on one of those big pages that don't get as much engagement because that way you're gonna see a lot more conversions into sales, a much better return on investment because you're also getting a taste of different audiences. And then the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that none of these followers and likes are fake. So how we do that is we can use a tool that will identify if this account is doing any kind of unfollow follow activity. You know, with some Instagram pages that use these like bot tools to follow a whole bunch of people to get them to follow back, but that audience isn't really engaging or interested in their content. They're just doing it to get the follow accounts up. That's something that's also important. So what we can do is we can copy the username. We wanna copy the Instagram handle and we can actually do an analysis on this. And then we can come over to a page called Ninjalytics. So you'll see when I paste their username and I click on analyze, it will do an entire analysis on their profile, seeing what the engagement is like, seeing if there's any kind of unfollow follow activity. So you can see right here at Charles's life, the exact same profile, there is no follow unfollow activity, which is very good. This tells me her page is a legitimate page, a legitimate person, nothing fake about it, which even gives you more of a reason to use them for your Instagram shout out. Because that means this person's followers, the engagement, their audience wants to follow them because they're obviously influenced by their content, hence why it's called Instagram influencing, and they actually like this person's content, meaning there's good trust factor, there's a lot of trust built between this person's page and their audience, which is very good for you that wants to promote their product on their page. So as you scroll down some more, you can see more about their follower growth, more about some uh, like follow and follow activity, store reviewer activity. Um, so you can go click on report store review and you can actually see when this loads up, like how the store review, story viewing activity is, you can have a look at their daily growth, weekly and monthly stats and more interesting statistics like that. So then what you want to do is now that you've got some influences, you want to write down a whole list. So basically make a page, whether it's entrepreneurship, accounting, fashion, whatever it may be, meme pages, make a list of the best influences and you want to stick with them and be loyal to them over time. Be consistent in your shout outs with them because that will essentially build you a consistent subscriber follow base and consistent sales and a consistent income. And it's really not that hard. You can literally go to the profiles, hit them up, be like, hey, I saw your page listed on influencer cart um, with your DM, with your shout outs available. Please let me know what your prices are. I've got this little video with a swipe up feature that I'd like with a link in bio or a post feature or whatever it may be, hit them up. And you also wanna to mention to them, look, I've never used you guys before, but I've got a lot of products and different offers that I wanna promote in the future. So I definitely wanna try you out. If it works well, I will stick with you for a while or for pretty much forever. Is there any way um, after you've placed your first order or two, you can ask them, is there any way that you wanna have like a, a deal, a little bit of a discount since I'm using you so much, you're getting a good income from me using you for shout outs. Is there any way I can get some kind of discount? So that way you can also save a lot of money by building a good relationship with the specific page that you want to use. And then also what you want to do is I've just got a couple of important notes for you here. You want to have a look at their posts, have a look at their posts, influence your post or video, whatever it is that you want to shout out on their page. And the key is you don't wanna make your post look like an advert. You wanna make your post look native to their content because it increases the engagement with your shout out post, increasing a lot of more clicks or views or whatever it is on your specific product, which is essentially more sales and more revenue. Because if people see that it's a cold advert, half, most of the time, nearly half the people are not actually gonna be interested. So a good example on how you can do this is, let's take this picture over here. What you can have is you can literally get a picture of the phone case. This this example of a shout out page or an influencer page does phone cases. So if you're dropping, drop shipping a phone case product of AliExpress onto Shopify, you can get a picture of that phone case similar to this 
And then what you can do is you can kind of have like a swipe right feature and then you can be like, click the link in the bio for a 90% coupon or to order yourself one worldwide delivery or free shipping. And that's how you want to do it. Your first pay post kind of wants to be like native to their posts, not just a cold ad. Then you mention to them, swipe right. You can have just like have like simple text over here and then have like link in bio. You can even have like a coupon. You can say enter coupon on checkout page, this coupon on the checkout page to get a 50% discount. So that will encourage them to go click on the link in the bio and actually enter, enter that coupon, which will give you more sales. So then like step three, you can just have link in bio. So that's a great way to kind of create your post native to their content. Because remember, a lot of people are gonna be randomly scrolling through this page. And when somebody scrolls through it and they and they see like this cold advert, most of the time they just scroll right past it. So you wanna make your content as native as possible because they will like it. They swipe right, they see, hey, here's a 50% coupon to get this delivered to your door. They will then go to your checkout, enter that coupon, most likely place the order. So that's the power of making your post look native to the page's content. So you also see a good example that I found is something like this. You can see this person made a um, sort of like a, a fashion for the fashion pages that could be drop shipping handbags, purses, let's say on a page like this that's got to do with fashion, a story feature like this where it has like one st slide like this, then the next one says swipe up to get your fashion page for like $1 or $29 off marked down from like $29 to $1. Now what they'll do is they give it like a massive discount, obviously encouraging the audience to get this limited one time deal. And then perhaps like a coupon and they'll say enter this coupon on the checkout to get like 60% off. And then they will go swipe up to the checkout, enter that coupon, just encouraging more sales. And remember, because everything we've talked about in this video, the audience is loyal, good, good engagement, lots of followers, lots of likes, the audience trusts the, the publisher of that page. So that's just all going to add up and benefit you. And that is what's key to Instagram influencing. And also by doing this, you want to make it look like the influencer has shared this. Because obviously, like I said, if it's a cold ad, most people just swipe right past, they're not even interested. But when it's made to look like the influencer has shared it, and because the audience has good trust with that uh, specific page that's doing the shout outs, most likely 99% of the time, everybody's going to click or be interested in the product because it's recommended by the page that they trust and that they follow loyally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a video on the screen right here. I'll leave like a little pop up that actually teaches you how to go about uh, CPA marketing offers and IDPRR and ebook offers, marking them down from like $28 to $1. And then what I want you to do is I want you to try this but implementing this strategy that I've just explained throughout this whole Instagram influencer video right now. So what I want you to do is find some influencers using this strategy and you can go and watch this video up here on how to actually put the strategy into action and build a business out of it. So what I'm going to do is I want to leave a little icon or element on the screen. So make sure to click on that and I'll see you there.